Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, July 18th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do that. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Click on the link to get started, get yourself set up for a free $60 dollar account. Great day Thursday because I get to post my CFL plays for the weekend. We've got a seven unit main event going this weekend and we're 80% of the CFL on the season, 109 and 75 long term. This season alone, we're up almost $2,000 for $100 per unit betters. That will be available today, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, our next seven unit main event in the CFL posted later today. We've got a five unit play going in baseball. Uh, we did not have a play yesterday after all because we had the Yankees yesterday and uh, that game of course was postponed It'll be made up today. Now, the starters who were expected to go yesterday are expected to go in the early game today. But we're not going to re-bet this one. We're just going to let it go and uh, and take our money back, basically, because the bottom line is, is one of the reasons, one of the main reasons that we were going against Chirinos yesterday, uh, as far as the premium personal pick, was because he was pitching on four days rest, and he's not had a lot of success in doing that. It's been his toughest spot on the season. Well, that's no longer the case because the game was rained out yesterday. He has normal five-day rest now for this particular start. So for those of you who grabbed that premium pick, we're just not going to play. We're not going to re-bet it, so to speak, on Thursday. We'll just let that one go. We do have a five-unit play, though, on Thursday. Available DocSports.com over, or excuse me, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific is when that game will be posted. We'll have Major League Baseball. We'll have WNBA. CFL again, that big seven-unit play posted later today, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, as we look to to extend this outstanding 80% start to the 2019 campaign in the Canadian Football League. And while you're over at DocSports.com, don't forget to check out all my early bird packages with college football, the NFL, which includes, of course, the NFL preseason. Go check out that package. Uh, we were number one last year in college football and NFL combined, about 60% winners. We garnered almost 10K, $10,000 won in college and pro football combined for those wagering just $100 per unit. Again, another great run 153 and 105 with our last 258 college football plays about almost 60 percent winners same goes as far as the win percentage in the nfl uh, almost our last 400 plays of the nfl were hitting almost 60 percent we're 59 percent against the spread so just cleaning up for many many years now in both college and the nfl you know about our westgate super contest top 20 uh, finish a couple of years ago uh, with over 1500 entries and we finish in the top 20. Took home a nice check there for that $1,500 entry. So you'll be privy to all those when you jump on board over at DocSports.com. Check out the packages. See if they're for you over at DocSports when you go over there today. Grab that seven unit play in the CFL. As you know, again, we're red hot. Grab Thursday's baseball and WNBA also. That'll be at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get to the free pick for Thursday. It's a night game. It is the battle between the Mets and and the Giants. And in this particular matchup, you got Noah Syndergaard going up against Madison Bumgarner. And boy, I tell you, with the Giants playing as well as they have over the last few weeks, they're right back in the wild card race with a legit chance uh, to win a wild card spot, which means maybe Mad Bum is off the trading blocks uh, as we get closer to the trade deadline. Uh, he's going to pitch tonight. And here's the situation uh, as far as they're concerned. The San Francisco Giants finally started scoring runs. You could see him starting to come around way back as early as June 1st. Starting to come around. The bullpen's been terrific all year. It's still top five as far as one of the lower ERAs for relief staff and all of Major League Baseball, but they weren't scoring any runs basically in April and May. Uh, started to come around a little bit in June, then of course July, that trip to Colorado where they just swept the Rockies. The offense is looking good. They're piling up runs. Listen, I know 
some folks don't like to jump on a team when they return home off a road trip, but we don't have a problem with that here with San Francisco. Like the pitchy matchup. When you look at Mad Bum, by the way, 6-0, and 6-0 and and eight starts against the Mets with a 2.0 ERA. His team's on a 7-0 and run when he starts against the New York Mets. And the one place Noah Syndergaard has had a rough time, or at least a shaky time, I guess you could call it this year, has been on the road. Now, I know he was okay last time out, but that was against the offensively challenged Miami Marlins uh, for the season, though, shaky on the road. And I think it's going to be tough for him tonight going up against a red-hot San Francisco Giants offense. Also wanted to mention real quickly, if you were betting on the San Francisco Giants blindly for the last 18 days, just $100 per game, you're up over $1,700. That's how, how well they've been playing and, of course, been getting a lot of juice as an underdog. They're not really badly lined here as far as you know laying a price. You don't have to lay a price in a lot of places. They're anywhere from you know, plus 100. I've seen plus 105 at the highest. By the time you watch this, they might go off as a favorite. But the bottom line is, is you're still not having to get involved with laying a lot of juice when you talk about jumping on board with San Francisco. So we're going to back Bad Bum. We're going to back the Giants. We'll look for Bum Garner to continue his dominance over the Mets. And yeah, the Mets just had a real nice series, obviously, on the road. But we think uh, they, they run into a little bit of a speed bump in this particular game. San Francisco at home with Bum Garner over Syndergaard, our free play for Thursday night. Don't forget baseball at 1130 a.m. Eastern on Thursday. Five unit play. WNBA gets posted at the same time. 6 p.m. Eastern. CFL seven unit play. We look to extend our 80% season record in the CFL. All available Thursday, DocSports.com, and check out the college football and NFL package while you're there. All right, listen, I'm Scott Spritzer. I hope you like these videos. If you do, click on that link, or I should say, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, again, don't forget to check out DocSports.com, $60 free account by clicking on the link below the video. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.